Ask not what we are be can do for you. Ask what you can do for we all be. I also want to ask you about your friend Marion Barry. Uh, can you tell some insight about Marion Barry? I know you uh, was over in California with Oprah, but you would have been at his funeral. Well, I went to the early funeral, the funeral last okay. four days. First, yeah. mm-hmm. what a human being he was. He was one of the founders of SNCC. He was with that group of young folks that was out of Tennessee, fifth, mm-hmm. Tennessee State. Mm-hmm. And that wasn't connected to the other civil rights movement. The, the NAACP you know, was helping, but that was they thing. They walked into Five and Dime, Woolworths, and got beat down to the ground. They just sit there, sit there. And they kept on and kept on until a ruling came through. That changed all of that. Marion finished school, worked on his master's, his doctor's degree in chemistry. Hmm? Mm -hmm. He stopped a couple of hours short Mm -hmm. to do full-time to the movement. He came here and black folks saw the city being organized. Never had been. And so I had people ask me on the world, Mary and Barry, for life. I said, he said, all the things he'd done. I said, wait, 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 wait. All the things that Mayor Daly did, all the murders, Tammany Hall, they write books on that, movies in New York, how the mob ran Philadelphia. Yeah. But all at once now, he ain't supposed to get in trouble. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you this. And they love Aaron Barry here because he was the first person, black or white, that started hiring dark complected Negroes. That's yeah. what I talked about. Hmm? Yes, sir. You could run his dead body and he'd win. Yeah. He gave people jobs, youngsters, summer jobs, right? Mm-hmm. Now, here's what happened, and I need you to do this. I need you. I'll have somebody call you tomorrow. Marion Barry got a, a book out. You know about that, right? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. And on page, it's either 204 or 240. Okay. I'll tell you what it says. So... Marion get busted at the Vista Hotel, right? Mm-hmm. When I get in town and start investigating it the next day, found out two ambulances were sitting out in front of the hotel. Now, you don't bring an ambulance on a raid on less than you intend for somebody to get killed. Mm. The FBI spent $50 million trying to take him down. And they couldn't find nothing. He hadn't stole a nickel, a penny, right? Mm-hmm. Now watch this now. So that night, were you too young to see the, the film up in the room with him, that pipe? I, I saw it years later. Yeah, I was young. I was a little kid back then. Look at it again. Mm-hmm. He fell across the bed and the pipe came out of his mouth, right? Mm-hmm. That's the way the universe will bless you. That pipe was 100% pure heroin. They was expecting to kill him. That's why the ambulance was outside. Wow. Okay? So now they bust him. Take him. It's a Thursday. They got to give him check for blood. Check his blood for drugs, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Now, you have to do that two days in a row. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. So they... Thursday, he got busted. The first blood test was Friday. The next day, the government's closed down, Saturday and Sunday. Opens up Monday. Mm. So I came in town and went by his house and said, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I got a procedure 
that will clean all the drugs out your body. Hmm? Out your body. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Out your body. Hmm? Do you know Carl Nelson? Yes, sir, the radio show journalist. You talk to him? No, sir. Huh? No, I know I, I never talked to him. I'll call you and give you his phone number. Yes, sir. Call him and tell him how much money we made cleaning athletes up from drugs. <laughs> okay, I'll ask him. <laughs> it starts at $30,000. Wow. Now, listen to this now. Mm-hmm. So I come in and I put him in this tub of water, the procedure. Y'all can do it. Get it for free. Mm -hmm. I put him in the bathtub full of water, as hot as you could stand it. I put 13 boxes of Epsom salt. Wow. Okay? And those are the big pound boxes. You get in it, you stay for 18 hours. Mm -hmm. Because drugs is alkaline. Mm-hmm. And so it's an acid. Epsom salt is an alkaline. So it gets in there and beats up the acid, which means destroy the drugs. Mm hmm And he got out that tub 18 hours later. He went in to take the other test, and they couldn't find that. That's why he could come out and run for mayor. Mm -hmm. Had that been there, that would have been a felony. Okay. Oh, so that's why he get the felony. I got you. Okay. In wow. his book. Mm. I will uh, call you tomorrow, tell you the name of it, mm -hmm. and run get it, and I'll leave the page. I think it's Math for Life. Is this, you can call yeah, it. this is autobiography. Yeah, it came out this yeah. year. I got it. I'll get it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then look up. I think it's either 204 or two, 204. Or two hundred and four. I'll call you in the morning and leave it. And look where he says, uh, Dick Gregory just came in to my surprise, and he said, "What I'm fixing to do to you, <laughs> you wish you were dead." <laughs> Eighteen wow. hours he's sitting there, and every hour you put another thing of Epsom salt in. I just can't imagine about like Baron Baron sitting still for anything for eighteen hours. Huh? I can't imagine him sitting still for 18 hours for anything, Mary and Barry. That's like the respect you had for me. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's the respect you had for me. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to come out there and trick him. <laughs> yes, sir. I know the FBI spent $50 million to sit him up. And mm -hmm. I knew that had that pipe not fell out of his mouth, he'd been dead. Wow. And I've never mentioned that to nobody except till he put it in his book. Wow, you know so many people. Wow, you just, wow. So anyway, what a brother, what a brother. And they proved that when the four days they, they honored him. Yes, okay, sir. Doc, I'm going to run. I'll call you in the morning and give you the page of that book. And thank you, thank you, thank you much.